um, if I have a right triangle, and you know the basic um, rule uh, about um, relationship between, between sides of the right triangle is what? Is, you know, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Because I'm talking about trigonometric, uh, I know you know this one for a long time ago, but let's assume I'm going to divide everything about divided by C squared. See, because I believe if you memorize, if you prove everything, and then that way you can memorize, you don't have to memorize, so you, you understand a lot better. So that's going to be A over C squared plus B over C squared. What is A over C? What is A over C? So you said, we just said a few minutes ago, sine of A is equal opposite over hypotenuse, A over C. So that's going to be sine square of A or whatever you want to say. And then cosine of A is equal is adjacent B over C. So it's going to be cosine square X, I mean A, because you are using A. But you can name it anything you want to, is equal 1. This is the first formula for uh, uh, trigonometric is. Uh, and uh, I, I know you know how to do from here. You can write sine of x is equal to square root of plus or minus if you want to. Is equal 1 minus cosine square x or whatever you want to say. And cosine of x is equal to square root of. 1 minus um, sine square uh, x or a, whatever you want to name them, I mean, it doesn't matter. So uh, this is one of the basic ones. What happens if I don't want divided by c square, I want to divide it by, for example, b square. So let's erase this. Let's divide everything by b square. Okay? So uh, let's say um, that's going to be um, c over b square is equal a over b square plus 1. Okay, so we said what? Um, a over b, so you said tangent of a is equal a over b. And then c over b, c over b is opposite of cosine, which is what? Secant of a is equal c over b. Okay, then here you say what? Secant square x or a, whatever you want to name them, equal tangent square a plus 1. And then from here you can drive a lot other formulas if you want to. Um, so, for example, I can say um, these are you use them a lot on, um, um, I mean, a lot of other places, but you especially use, it, use them in uh, physics or integration of, uh, on a calculus. So, is, uh, I can say tangent square A is equal uh, secant square A minus 1, or you can say even the square root of this one plus and minus tangent is equal to that and the square root of this one depends on what you are you need them to use you can use those two so um, and then you can do divided by a square see what happened because a lot of kids they have very hard time to find a relationship between uh, especially on calculus 2 the, the, the relationship between secant and tangent equal 1 okay all right, I'm going to erase this. That's another nice formula you have to know, to memorize. And I'm going to write the other one is sine square A plus cosine square A is equal 1. That is 2. And the last one is what happened if I divided everything by A square? Okay, divided by A square, divided by A square, divided by A square. So that's going to be... Um, and let's see, opposite of tangent is cotangent of A, A is equal B over A. Uh, I'm going to write them opposite in here so you can write cosecant of 
a is equal c over a and cosine is secant of a is equal uh, c over b i'm gonna write c so all right so that's gonna be uh, c over a which is c over a is cosecant cosecant square a or x whatever you want to name them is 1 plus cotangent square and that's is uh, that's a very nice formula I mean if you prove it I uh, promise you will never ever forget from here you can drive uh, anything else you need them and that's it and thank you